So the ever so charming and entertaining rapper Amine is back with another addition to his 0.5 series of album, mixtape, EP, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I have to say that I really do enjoy these 0.5, uh, you know, albums from him. I think they suit his personality quite well. I like how they kind of create this low stakes, anything goes sort of setting. And, you know, I, I like hearing him uh, in this kind of context where he doesn't take himself too seriously. I think it's quite nice. So this time he's using the opportunity to explore a more hyper pop drum and bass sound with his music that uh, has become quite popular lately. And uh, for the most part, I think it's pretty cool, but uh, I will say that for me, this one is a bit of a step down from 1.5, which uh, I found to be a lot more fun and memorable. Uh, many times I feel like his vocals take a backseat to the production, and I really don't feel like this suits him very well, as I usually prefer the reverse with Amine, where it's a rather simple, uh, you know, beat with nothing special about it, but he's the one really carrying it uh, by himself. A lot of his lyrics and bars are quite generic and forgettable, and to be honest, that's not something I would usually say about Amine, as one of his strong suits is being lyrically outside the box. Another issue is that some of the songs on this album sound way too similar to one another to be on the same album. Uh, you know, sometimes I had myself looking back at the album and wondering if I'd already heard the song before. And I do think that that's especially problematic on such a short album. But I will say that I really did enjoy the last few run of tracks of the album, everything from Van Gogh onwards. Uh, you know, f***er on the Van Gogh goes right up there with all of my favorite Amine lines. Uh, that old school house drum beat on Between the Lines is absolutely popping, and uh, Shit to Lose gives us some of that really nice, soul-bearing, vulnerable energy that Amine does so well. So, you know, there's some moments that I genuinely do really enjoy on this album, but overall, uh, I find it to be not really that memorable. And uh, if anything, it's got me excited to see how Amine carries over this experimentation into his next LP. But, uh, you know, as far as this one goes, I gave it a 7 out of 10. I think it's all right.